Good afternoon, my name is Molly and I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas. Today we're going to be taking our UR Home Live tour of Walton Hall. So currently we're right outside of Walton Hall. Just wanted to show y'all your neighbor, yeah. of course. There's, so the, there's the south end, I guess we'll point out. The there's a north end, end and a south, south end. end. Yeah, to it. Um, but your neighbor is yeah. the Donald W. Riddle Stadium, which is currently being renovated. Um, Very nice. So yeah, it's literally across the street. Literally from the perfect Razorbacks. for game days. Talk about a really good tailgate. Um, so yeah, we can head on inside sure. and we will start to kind of get some explore the hall a little explore bit. Explore it. Just yeah. explore it. Now, have you been to a Razorback game before? I have. I've been to <laughs> pretty much all of them. I didn't go to the Dallas game because I had work, but I'm going this year because my sister just moved down there. Very nice. So I'm excited. We have a couple of people tuning in already. So hello everyone for watching. Uh, feel free to ask any questions or let us know even where you're from. Where are you yeah. from, Molly? I'm from Rogers. It okay. is about, or Rogers, Arkansas. It's about 30 minutes up the road, not too far. And it's a really good place to go if you want to go to another mall or some shopping. And it has the Arkansas Music Pavilion where there's a lot of concerts there. So check into that when you get here. Very nice. We're coming in from the west side. Yes. And walking east into laundry. Laundry, of course, our favorite. Yes. So we're going to have four dryers and we have four washers. Mm -hmm. um, even number, we do have an ice machine as well. Something cool about the laundry is they have this system called Laundry Alert. So you'll see on every, it's on the washers and on the dryers, there's a QR code. And you can scan that with your mobile device and you can scan it and it'll tell you when your machine is done or if there's any open machines so that way you're not having to walk all around just to come get your laundry and just for it to all be full and it's just a good system to use um it's on the wall over here yeah we see it there in the corner if you ever needed to know you can do it on your phone and it can send you text messages it can send you notifications and you can also do it online as well yes. Lori, thank you for tuning in um we are pleased to give you those measurements as we can yes, she's getting some course. notes for her son um can you buy detergent there you can't buy detergent from us, from University Housing, small but, mark. but there is a very small Walmart called Small Mart on campus. Yes. And then of course there's all kinds of shopping opportunities around yes, here. Yes, of course. We, we, we do recommend that you use the pods. Those are usually the neatest way to do it. Um, you know, powder can be, what do you use? I use pods last year, but I'm actually gonna start switching to regular detergent, mm -hmm. just cause sometimes the pods can leave kind of a mess on my clothes. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. Sure. Maybe it was just a brand, but I also really miss my fabric softener. Understandable, really understandable. Okay, so yeah. that's the laundry system that we have here. And the small mart is on Garland, so it's really not that far. It's right by the Garland parking garage. Mm -hmm. And there's another neighborhood market, because this is Walmart USA. Sure. There's another neighborhood market that's going to be um, on MLK, and it's kind of around where Harmon parking garage is. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, this is kind of an interesting building architecturally. Just earlier, we were walking it and getting a little bit lost. It, but, you know, you'll be a resident here, so you'll get to know it quite well. Yes. Right now, we're headed to the... Yes, uh, Lori asked, no cost for washing. No cost. It is included in your housing fees, which is nice. No quarters. That's always such a that hassle. That old game so. of having too many... Yeah, <laughs> trying to find the quarters to wash. Yeah. Okay, so let's head in and look at two rooms, two different styles of room. We're heading to the north end of the building. And we'll gonna go outside just a little show you. You can get some mail right here. Yes. You'll get that delivered to your Arkansas email and they'll give you a the code or a key for your mail. So yeah. if you have a package, we'll show you the desk where you'll pick up your package. But that's where you'll get your mail generally. So we're headed outside. This is kind of an outside back into inside. So 130, mm -hmm. here we are. Um, this is just gonna be a typical single room. And you have a Jack and Jill bathroom, so you will share a bathroom with someone else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you can loft it, you can move any of this furniture that's inside here. You do have, right here, you have some drawers and you have a sink. Those you cannot move, of course, but everything else you can move. Loft Is that a your light bed. right there, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can loft your bed before you get here if you want to. Mm -hmm. You would just have to put in a maintenance request where you go to housing.uark edu forward slash fix it and they can lock that bed for you or you can do it yourself and just we suggest that you bring a rubber mallet we have some that you can use just 
everyone's also trying to use it, so sometimes it's just better if you bring your own. This one goes high. These are really high really ones. They're really high. And we suggest that safety bar. See that stabilizer bar? We definitely yeah. suggest that you use that. Yeah. Uh, now you mentioned this is Jack and Jill. What do you mean by that? Jack and Jill meaning that there's two of y'all, one person in each room, mm -hmm. but y'all will both have this common space right here where you guys will share your bathroom. There's the bathroom. So here's the bathroom shower. and then the shower. Uh -huh. And then there's some hooks that is right behind you where you could always put towels or something. Um, but basically, you know, you're just going to share a bathroom with someone. Yeah. Let's Which go on through to the other yeah. side. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca asked, is this the south side? We're on the north side north right side. now, but we are going to look at the south side. Yeah, so this is just the other bedroom. It's going to have the same exact setup. All movable furniture, like I said. Just adjust it whenever you get here. Yeah. It's a perfect apartment kind of style living. It is kind of that apartment style living, really. You've got yeah, another kitchenette, sink, well, sink right there. And if y'all have any questions, please just type them into the comment box. We will be happy to measure anything or answer anything sure. y'all may have. So um, let's go ahead and look at, this is a Jack and Jill uh, north side no, I'm sorry, this is the south side. I apologize, did I say north side? Yes. I did say north side. side. This is like, the south side. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm turned around in myself. <laughs> it so, is a very confusing Yeah, place. so now we're headed south, at, yeah, southward. And southward. we're going to go look at uh, one that is a single, but not a Jack and Jill. Yes. We're going to go inside. Uh, Rebecca asked about seeing the window so we can know what kind of curtain we need. Yeah, let's measure that real yeah. quick. Now this again is um, a south side room. You're going to want it from the blind to the blind. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about 39 and a fourth. 39 and a fourth. 39 and a fourth by... should be a pro at this. You're getting to be pretty good at it. 62. By 62. 62. Okay. So if you wanted to put... It has blinds on there, but if you want to put a curtain... Tape measure. Oh, is it? There we go. Beautiful. And then there's that little guy right yeah. there. And it's going to be 22 and a half. 22 and a half. By 41. By 41. Okay. There we go. What's the floor look like? In here, Perfect. it's kind of a carpeted tile or carpeted. Carpeted with different uh, colors. It smells really good, too. The carpet's pretty new, honestly. It is. Yeah, okay. and you also have this little um, little bedside table right sure. there too. Let's go ahead and look over at the other room, which is another just a single by itself, not a shared bathroom. It's got a community bathroom. Yeah, and this place holds about 150 students, so it's really nice because it's all single rooms. Yeah, and upperclassmen too. Upper so upperclassmen. You yes. can expect that you know people will be pretty serious about their studies. Hopefully. Hopefully by this point they. We'll know what it's like to be a student at least. Yes. So we will go into the other room. Right, Not that one. Not that Let's one. show the bathroom first and then we'll show yeah. the room. Bathroom's right next to the room. It is. Very Perfect. convenient. So this is going to be the bathroom in here. This um, is a women's bathroom, so this is a women's floor right here. You'll have two sinks right here. Mm -hmm. You'll have just a regular bathroom right there. Mm -hmm. And then when we get more down here, uh -huh. so two bathrooms, two showers. Okay. So right here, it's just going to be your shower. It's just kind of like a square space right here. You can have a little rack right here where you hold your towels and stuff. And then you can put down this little shelf um, right. if you need it to for your shampoo and your whole caddy. Very nice. Yes. Okay. So we're going to look at that room now. The room is right next to it. So if this is your room, you're lucky. <laughs> if you're in 137 137 on the south side we're in your room right now yes so all movable furniture in here it's kind of the same thing it's really nice because you're gonna have all this space for yourself mm -hmm. um, just like I said earlier you can lock your bed if you want to just again go to housing.ur.edu forward slash fix it you want them to do it for you if not bring a rubber mallet um, and then there's that safety bar just in case you want to lock it super high. Mm -hmm. You have a desk, you have a little side desk, I guess you want to call it, which has some drawers or a side table, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, so there's the best thing about this kind of place is you have so much storage. 
you know, that's super convenient for all of you girls and guys that have infinite amounts of t-shirts because that's what you live in every single day here. Lots of t-shirts. Keep of room t -shirts. for t-shirts in your... You also booth. have a cable right here where you can actually get a TV, and this is your internet cable, so, or, I'm sorry, TV cable. Mm -hmm. So you can put a TV in your room. Yeah, and you have uh, digital cable, mm -hmm. all the HBOs, um, yes. as well as some other premium channels, and uh, Cox offers a DVR package optionally if you want to if yeah. you decide that's the direction you want to go in. Uh, we upgraded last year from analog cable to digital, which I'm sure for those of you who are living at home, you're like, what? what analog cable? But I don't even know. We've, we've entered into the digital age with our cable now. Beautiful. Campus-wide. Finally caught up. Yes, and everything is wireless on campus yeah. too, so you will have wireless access. No need to bring your own router. In fact, we don't even allow it anymore. So now we are going to go towards the north side. Yes. We're going to show you a common area where everyone just kind of hangs out. There's a lot of common areas here. Um, we'll also see the kitchen. Uh, Lori, the uh, cable is covered within all the fees that you pay to housing. Uh, if you want to, if you want to do the DVR package, that is the extra, and you can work with Cox to get that worked out. Uh, Rebecca asks, is there Wi-Fi in this storm? Yes, there yes. is. Wi-Fi everywhere. There's university Wi-Fi where you'll log in, your username will be your regular username for Arkansas. Your password will be your normal passcode. So this is just a front desk. This is what you're going to see. We're right by the main entrance that's closest to the Union parking garage. I'll go ahead and give a view of the where you would be walking in. Good view. So right there is going to be the Union parking garage. So mm -hmm. you're literally right across the street from the Union, which is nice. So your central campus. So you all go here if you ever have some big packages that you need to pick up. Um, if you have any questions, you need to rent something from them, cooking utensils, DVDs. Um, rubber mallet. Yeah, rubber mallet. Maybe if you don't bring dolly. your own. Dolly. Dolly yeah, if you don't bring so, your own. Speaking of dollies though, uh, we do suggest that you might want to bring one during move-in day just because there's so many people who's wanting to use a dolly that it might be a little bit better. Yeah, you might end up waiting a little while for your yeah. dolly. We don't want you to have to do that. So we'll go to this little kitchen area and right here some more mailboxes. Uh-huh. More Super mail. Cute. Super and vintage. I'll point out that Recycle Mania is something we give to the dorms that are the most environmentally we run a competition and those yes. who win get the Recycle Mania Award. And Walton has done amazing the last two years. We'll see who wins this next year. And then here is the recycling, so that's Good to point out. The whole right university, there. we're a big, huge, going green campus. All right. That's the ambition. Right here is just going to be your kind of kitchen area. You're going to have some countertops. Yeah. You're going to have a microwave, of course. You really don't need to bring your own unless you just really want to. Um, you do have a stove, stove top where you can come and cook on. Got your nice little oven to cook some good brown leaves. Yeah, what did you like to cook when you were sugar living cookies. in Humphreys? Is that right? Yoko. No, Yoakum. Yoakum. Yeah, right. sugar cookies and pizza because I don't actually know how to cook yet. Mm. I'm learning though. <laughs> I'm about to learn. <laughs> it's an evolving skill. <laughs> it is. So okay. you're going to have a fridge right here, a nice little area to eat, and something super cool is right here there's a little charging station, so any of your phones you can just... Let's plug it in yeah. here, and it charges your phone. They uh, won this because they were they uh, won the Recycle Mania Award. Yeah, so and these the are oh, there's station. a lot of these all in the Union, mm -hmm. which is nice because mm -hmm. sometimes you're really dead on your phone and you kind of need it. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Um, uh, Lori asks, is the kitchen stocked for student use pots, pans, etc.? Yes. So a lot of times there, in most of the residence halls, you go to the front desk and you um, ask. Can I borrow this? Yes, and you and can. you'll leave your student ID there with them until you return the dish back nice and clean. But it so. looks like here, there's some that just sort of live on the walls that you can use if you wish to. They hope. They and trust hey, you. They trust you here. You're upperclassmen. We expect, sure. we know you're going to treat it we're just fine, like your exactly. home. Exactly. Okay. All right. And then this is going to be a big, huge, just kind of common area. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some vending machines. These are not included on and any of your student fee, so you're gonna have to pay with cash, card, or Apple Pay yeah. on these, so you can get snacks, some drinks right here, go hogs. Uh, <laughs> Here's and, that common area that you can kind of yeah. spend time in. I think there actually is some... Laundry also as yeah, well. Yeah, a little bit more laundry space over here. Yeah, we have a little bit more over here. It's the same exact kind of laundry room. Um, but yeah, same, four and four. Same thing with the laundry alert app. Mm -hmm. 
And we're now coming over to the north end of the building. Uh, it's interesting, you know, Walton Hall for a long time was kind of a Greek hall in a sense because you had the Greek students who didn't yes. yet have a hall would live here and then go off to live in whatever yeah. hall and they And now needed. they all pretty much have houses. So. A lot of them have houses. So yeah. really the, 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 the people who live here are less and less Greek and more just sort of general upperclassmen no, these days. Kids, yeah. yeah. Um, just really nice common area. They're super comfy. Mm -hmm. I took a really good nap on one one time. Oh, you, you slept on one of these? That's funny. Oh, yeah. During recruitment week. Right. Okay. So Here we are going outside to get back to the inside. Going outside to get into the inside. So everything's kind of interconnected, which is nice. You don't always have to fob in. However, to get inside the building, originally from the outside, you do have to have your fob to fob in. So make sure you do not lose that because that is your life. Right. So One floor down, I'll point out that the Greek office for uh, Greek life, I believe? Student activities. Yeah, student activities is downstairs. Yeah. I think we're, uh, we're uh, Lori asked what floor we're on. I believe we're on floor two. Yeah. I was looking down to make sure. Yeah. Um, some more kind of tables right here. Yeah. Um, good seating. Yeah. Um, Just study. impromptu meeting areas where you can kind of sit and study, hang out. Definitely. We would only study here. Only study. <laughs> um, again, we're recycling. This is why Walton Hall is the best, and they get the award that no other hall gets. They have two years in a row. They've been the most recyclingest hall there is. They're killing it. They are. Okay, so we're going to go look at a room. All right, 228. It's your lucky day. 228. That's the floor. We're, that's the one on the north side we're looking at. So here we are in 228. Yeah. So none of this furniture is movable. It's a really nice open space. I'll close this door so you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. um, here you're going to have your desk with an overhead shelf right here. Mm -hmm. You also have some shelves right here. Um, and then of course there's some drawers right here. So that's super nice that you can have, like I said, nothing's movable in here, but you don't really need to have it movable. Sure, but you do have plenty of yeah, you have so cabinetry much space. space, open cabinetry space. Yeah. And then you have a lot of open space in here, so if you want to put yeah. a chair or something, or um, I don't know, you could put a little desk right here and again plug in a TV. Sure. So, and then this is going to be your bed up here. You can't loft it, that's okay. Uh, um, we then, didn't, go ahead. Yeah, you have a bunch of just drawers down here. Lori had asked a question about the uh, depth of the mattress. Can we give her the uh, depth of the mattress? So, oh, six and one fourth. I think uh, yeah. So that's the height. I'm wondering about the 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 width. Basically, I think is what she maybe is what she's asking. Correct me if I'm wrong. There it may not be. Mm, 35 and a half. 35 and a half. So mostly, mostly 36 are on the yeah. entire campus. And this it's is hard doing a one man show. Oh, no, you're doing a fantastic yeah. job. And about 80. Okay, so an 80. So yeah. 36 by 80 is mm -hmm. that sort of that mattress. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and give her the dimension from the uh, top of, the, of this area to bottom. the bottom. Yeah. All right, that's going to be about 32 and a half. Thank you very much, Vaughn. Yeah. Um, and then Lori asked the width of the desk and shelves. So, we got the, the length. 60. Oh, uh -huh. it's stuck on me. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Tape measure. It's been through thick and thin, that tape measure. It really has. And 24. 24. Okay, okay. And from the top. So this bottom is going to be 15 and 3 fourths. 15 and 3 fourths. By... Ah! We'll just hold that. Beautiful, thank you. Um, all the way to about 60. 60, okay, yes. okay, fantastic. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, uh, Lori said she was told 84. It would be an 84 mattress if you got an extra long mattress. Well, let's measure it. We'll just make sure. The room you may, you're in, it may be an 84, Lori. Let's see. Yeah, it's about 82. 82. So 84 would work. 82. It's, you know, it's roughly 82, 84, right around there. Um, to wall to wall. 
87. So 87 wall to wall in there. So that is an 87 inch compartment there. So 84 should work. Yeah. Um, let's see, shelves behind me. We got those shelves, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Great. Well, let's continue to go through here. Yeah. Glory, I hope we answered your questions. Do you have a closet right here uh -huh. that has a hanging bowl? So okay. you can hang some clothes up there. Um, and then you're going to have some more drawers and a sink right here. And then the Jack and Jill bathroom. Right, okay. So, so in that way, it's kind of similar. Yeah, so the showers are going to be the exact same um, size and everything. The only thing that's going to be different compared to the other, the south end that we saw, is mm -hmm. you're going to have these actual little in-the-wall room. Kind of okay. Changing station, I guess you want to call it. So, that's actually nice and convenient. So, you can always leave your stuff to dry. Um, you can put your shower stuff there, shampoo, conditioner, all of that. And then... Same exact setup in here. It's going to be the exact same. Had a couple more questions come yeah. in. Um, looking at the wall to the door and bed to corner, please. So wall to door would be, I guess, yeah, this space right here, I think, wall to door. Sixty-four inches there. Sixty-four and a half. Okay, that's wall to door, and then bed to corner, which I'm thinking means bed to corner, or is it see. this corner? Um, let's do, let's do the um, this distance right here, that bed to that corner right there. Just right here. Yeah. Let's see what that is. Um, it's about ten. About ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. If that's not your what you were trying to say, we can sure. of course measure again. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What we're trying to come through here. Uh, the uh, closet wall width. Can I put a shelving unit there? So, if we're talking about the closet wall unit, it would be this one, right? Or is there another one? On the other uh, side? Well, there's this indoor one, which you could totally. Um, do a hanging, like if you want to hang your shoes, they have those little shoe organizers that you could put in there, a uh -huh. hanging shelf, you could definitely do that. Um, let me just go ahead and just give you what's across 43. Okay, 43 is the width of that closet yeah. in there. Um, but you can definitely, I, I had a closet like this last year, I lived in Yoakum Hall, and I did a little shoe organizer and it worked perfect. That's I think uh, we need to give her two more measurements that she's mm -hmm. looking for. Um, one is the width of the walls. So let's give uh, the bed edge to this wall. Um, 141, yeah. 141 inches from that bed area to that wall right there. And then we can give her this one right here, which would be the door. The door to this wall. Yeah. Oh, the door to this wall. Yeah. I think she's just trying to figure out what you know what kind of shelving would fit in here. Um, it's almost 82. It's about 81 and a half. 81 and a half, 82. That's what we've got in that space. So we'll just call it a call it 80, we'll call it 82. We'll round up. Um, and was that from the wall or from the little one inch to one and a half inch? Right that was from there. Right there. Okay, so I would actually, if you're looking at something that would just go flush with that, yeah. which is probably what you would want, is just flush with. Um, we are looking about 80. 80, okay, so 80 if you want to be flush with the end of the masonry there. Okay, well, great. Hey, this is why we want to be here is to answer these questions for you as best we can. Of Let's see, one more quick little show of that office desk area, which is kind of nice. And you and can, then, um, something I would suggest if you're wanting to put a TV right here, you always just bring in your own little shelving unit right here. So that would give you some more drawers if you needed that, and then you can put your TV on top. Oh yeah, because you get your TV hooked up yeah. right there. Not a bad place to put a TV. Not at all. You can watch some good old Netflix at night. Gilmore Girls? Gilmore Girls, yeah. All right, That's fantastic. Okay, well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we appreciate your questions. Um, hopefully, we've had a chance to answer them. Yeah, of course. Um, wall with thermostat, please. Okay, we could do wall with thermostat. Uh -huh. 36 and a half. 
36 and a half is the wall with thermostat, and the width of shelves and wall behind desk chair. Yes. Um, front the, we'll just do that top to the very bottom. It's about nine and one half is from this. Okay, so you've got how many of those? One. One, two, three, four. And of okay. course, the the upper and the lower one, it's going to be a little bit different because you're sure. going to have a little bit more space. Um, the length, let's stay still, is 27. Okay, 27 is the width of those. And nine and a half. I'm sorry? Nine and a half. Nine by and a half by 27. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then these guys? Um, ten and a half. Uh huh. By 28 and 3 fourths. 28 and 3 fourths. Almost 29. It's edging. Oh, okay. 29. 29. We'll 29. Okay, 29. Okay. Well, let's see. Does it have a thermostat? Yes, it does. Rebecca asks. There's it the feels thermostat. Right in here. It's very cold. It's really, it's really chilly. It's really cold in Yeah, like it's. it's I can use a jacket right now for being honest. <laughs> and in the rest of the world, it's actually, what, 82 outside. So we're doing yeah. a good job. Mine says 91. Ha! Whoa, okay. Oh, it says high of 91. It says 83 outside. But. We got the, did we get the wall behind the desk chair, the width? I think we just did, didn't we? The wall behind the desk chair. We just yes, yes, okay. we just did that. If she's wanting to oh, yeah, okay. this that wall. Yeah. will you hold this right here? Yeah. If she's wanting this complete wall, is 80 and a half. 80 and a half is the complete wall. And then what is it, just the masonry versus the uh, wooden shelving area? 53 and one fourth. 53 and one fourth, okay, mm -hmm. great. And this video will be archived on YouTube as well as Facebook. So you're welcome to go back and look at it. And we appreciate it. We really appreciate you coming out, tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall, right? Yeah, of course. We're happy to have you all back in the fall and tune into our other videos. We have a video about Prep Your Tech, and about moving, so check into those, and until then, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.